Oh, first of all, look at my hair. My hair looks crazy, but I'm about to do that 3.5 seconds. I'm getting ready to get up out of here. I gotta go drop my laundry off, then drop Kyra to school, then go to school, then come back, cook, clean, do all of that. Right now, I'm making Kyra and my mom some breakfast. Got some boy eggs and bagels. I'm about to feed Cody, take him outside real quick, and then I'm gonna go by my. So guys, I am now outside about the walk Cody. I'm dressed. As I woke Cody, I'm gonna go back in the house, get Cairo, <laughs> take him to school. I'm actually gonna drop my laundry up after I pick them up today because honestly, I'm running a little bit behind in time. Rough morning, rough morning, rough morning. So this is what my morning walks look like with Cody, guys. It's nothing spectacular, but yeah, I like to take him out early while the sun is just coming up and do whatever I need to do before I leave out for work. Cody loves to be outside. Guys, I'm so happy that he's potty trained now. It's much easier now that he's potty trained. Thanks to my sister. Shout out to you um, for helping me potty train Cody because honestly, it makes my life 10 times easier. <laughs> Change of plans. Cairo is going to stay at home with my mom today because he's not feeling too well. So he's going to play hooky. All right, guys. So I'm on my way. You know what I'm saying? I, um, changes happen so quick just now, as always. One thing about being a mom is you have to make sure that you're definitely mad flexible because honestly, changes happen like in a drop of a dime. So this morning I left out. I told you I had a plan. I was leaving out. Came back to get Cairo at the old Cody. Um, and he wasn't feeling well. He didn't want to go to school, but he never wants to go to school. He, um, but today I knew it was kind of different because he was like, I don't know. He just was like, kind of not being himself. So he's not feeling well today, long story short. So I gave him some Motrin, some Highland, a vitamin, made him something to eat, got him situated and left him home today. Um, because yeah, baby boy not feeling well. So let's pray that Kyra feels better later on. Um, he was already being bad, but that's neither here or there. Um, yeah, so got to come back to the rescue to rescue my little man, make him feel better before the nice weather come in. This is what I don't understand, right? Kids, like like today, I could have been that parent that said, nah, Kyra, you getting out of here, like, you know what I'm saying? And even the days where I don't have an option and I have to make that sacrifice to, like, take off, um, I still do that as a parent because realistically, when you become parent, your child comes first and like i get it some people can't afford to do so but people make time for whatever they want to make time for i don't see people call out for the most craziest thing so when your child gets sick and you know that bringing him or her to school is going to make other children sick it just don't make sense to me like so you don't think that when you make that other child sick now that other child's gonna come back and now your kid is gonna get sick again it's just like an ongoing cycle so parents like First of all, you should know your children. When you know that they're not feeling well, you know that they are sneezing or coughing, especially those type of sicknesses where the germs could actually spread. Keep your child home. If your child's feeling hot, check their temperature. Like, stop brushing them. Like, listen to your child. A lot of times, parents don't listen to their child. Their child telling them they don't want to go to school. Now, you know the difference between your child saying, I don't want to go to school because they don't want to go, and they don't want to go to school and they're not feeling well. Like, when Carol says he don't want to go to school, no matter how many times he said it, I ask him a lot of assessment questions so i asked him like why you don't want to go to school because number one i want to know that i want to make sure nobody's not doing nothing to him at the school that's one <clears throat> two i always i also ask like what's wrong is anything bothering you like are you okay you feel high you got a headache you don't feel well like you know and i just thank god that Cairo's um vocal like old enough now to be vocal enough to let me know these things because Honestly, when he was a baby, guys, I didn't know what was going on, and I used to always run to the emergency room. So I'm just happy to know that he's able to let me know what's going on so I could treat him accordingly. Um, and yeah, so I could tell he wasn't feeling well. Um, I got in the hallway and I was looking at him, I'm like, nah, I don't think he feel well. So I stopped, turned around, gave him some Motrin, made sure I fed him, gave him some Highlands cough syrup, and he's up watching um, his iPad. One thing about New York City, you are gonna see a fire truck. You are gonna hear an ambulance uh, all day, every day. Um, and you are gonna get a scratch on your car. You definitely gonna get a ticket. Like, <sighs> enough of that, guys. I'm on my way to the 
stomping grounds you know what i'm saying another day another dollar i'm here i'm happy to see that y'all active and y'all back just as well as i'm back you know what i'm saying that break was much needed um now it's time to really get busy and get to it i hope y'all motivated i hope y'all woke up with the same energy that i woke up with honestly guys it took a lot for me to get to this point right now a few months ago i would have been panicking i don't want to go to work i got a fever da, 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 da. now i just know that i stop i pray i think i logically do things that make sense and it's like all right and you observe throughout the day so i'm gonna keep checking on him throughout the day i'm gonna go and get what i need to get done come back home make sure that i take care of him even more so that he'll be better um to go back to school by the end of this week and we back to it baby but other than that guys which i got going on um which i got going on i saw the comment about um Cairo getting big yeah he is getting big guys honestly that's my little grown man he's getting too big you know what i'm saying too 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 big mother's day how was your mother's day guys mother's day just passed mother's day was great for me i actually didn't do anything on mother's day but i didn't want to do anything because i got a pretty big busy week coming up um me and Shamir's anniversary is on the 12th and then Shamir's birthday is on the on this saturday coming up on the 14th and then Kayla's birthday is a few days later so like it's a lot coming up so i just figured mother's day i want to lay low hmm. plus my aunt's birthday we just passed this weekend i didn't even get to get footage of that because i was real busy i have been really enjoying myself lately guys and if I'm not enjoying myself, I'm really busy. So the, the the moments that I'm enjoying myself is hard to record because I'm enjoying the moment. And then the moments that I'm not recording because I'm busy is really because I'm busy and I don't have like a cameraman to take y'all along with me. But I'm trying my best. I woke up this morning, like I said, and I cut this camera on. And regardless if I'm just talking to y'all in the car, I'm going to vlog, I'm going to talk to y'all, and we're going to get this thing going. Another fire truck is coming, guys, so I definitely got to cut this camera off. And I'm going to take y'all along with me. So, guys, this is the commute. Well, I take a different commute every morning, but sometimes I come this way if it's a lot of traffic on my other usual way. And this is considered, I don't know, I call it kind of Williamsburg. This is Broadway, though. I don't know what people call this area. I'm not good with, like, geographic. So, yeah. Um, I know it's in bed but, yeah, there's always a lot of traffic. I try to get out the house before time sometimes so that I can beat traffic. But most days I am in traffic because I have to drop Cairo to school first. And his school is about 30 minutes away from where I live. So, yeah, I actually go from my, my job to my job, like, come back in this area. It's hectic, but anyway, it works for me for now until I figure out a better option, and I'm just grateful that he's in an environment that he likes, so yeah, that's that. But yeah, this is my commute. Honestly, New York City always has so much traffic, so many red lights, and the speed limit kills me 25 miles per hour. Like, you gotta be kidding me. When there's not traffic, who wants to drive 25 miles per hour? Not me, so I have 1,001 tickets. So guys, my girlfriend laughs at me because I drive in silence in the car. But I drive in silence in the car because it's so freaking noisy. It's like ridiculously noisy. Like um, New York City is so loud. Like if it's not like people screaming or arguing or fighting, like there's motorcycles, there's ambulance, there's fire trucks, there's trains. Everything is just moving constantly. And so sometimes I like to drive in my car in peace. Look at the train, ridiculous. Um, so it's just very loud and i don't know if any of you guys do it but i have to find my own moments of peace and so i genuinely am a parent all day every day when i'm not a parent i'm at work and even then i'm a parent so it's like um i genuinely need my moments of like silence and so i do that in the car this particular message is for my step moms out there and a lot of step moms they either have the advice of like what, what how should i prepare to be like doing this alone because the person that i the my insemination with we're no longer involved or they'll ask like oh how do i go i mean what what are some things i should be prepared for or think about before oh my god sorry what are some things i should be prepared for or think about before i decide to do artificial insemination so guys honestly i would say it parenting and like having a child i've come to the realization that thinking and planning ahead honestly is cute but <laughs> You could literally plan and God has another plan. So like, honestly, 
<laughs> the universe will always have your life planned out for you ahead of time and so regardless if you plan to the t like i didn't seen couples plan they got married they wrote they saved the money they did all of that afterwards the baby was here broke up everybody's broke no way to live like so it's like you can plan even myself like i planned i didn't do it right away i've been wanting a kid since i was 18 i waited until i was what 20 i was what 20 I, I don't even know how old i was when i had cairo how old am i i'm 30 i had him two years ago i was 28 when i had cairo so <laughs> I, I waited a fairly long time for me to have Cairo, so I um I feel like there's no right or wrong. You just gotta do it. And as long as you as a parent know that you are ready to parent, regardless of any external factors, that baby is coming out of you. So regardless of what I would say, as long as you have the patience and you ready to parent and you ready to make whatever sacrifice you have to make as a parent, then go for it because there's genuinely i realized there's genuinely no like correct planning there's genuinely no right or wrong the biggest thing that i could say that i ever realized that was necessary as a parent is strength if you are one of those who throw in the towel quick your kid is going to be miserable because like you got to really really make sacrifices you got to really be ready for like you might think you're going somewhere and can't even get there because the plans have changed or you might think your kid is not gonna misbehave today and your kid is going crazy. Like, you might think that you know everything about parenting and your kids show you that you need to learn something new. So it's like, I think that as a parent, you continuously growing and every day is new. Every day is the learning experience and every day is something different. So my best advice is like, be ready, have the strength, be prepared to for the unexpected and be willing to be trans. Go ahead. Be willing to be transparent with yourself and um be willing to be transparent with yourself and be willing to have the strength needed to like fight every day, every day, every day. And and that's my best advice that I could give. But yeah, I hope that message finds y'all well. I'm about to get up off this because I gotta go. I'm probably gonna vlog a little bit more when I get off and show you what I do when I get off of work. Today's probably gonna be a little bit different because like I said, Kyra's not feeling well, but I'm a vlog. So guys, I am not at work and I really enjoy doing what I do because not only am I helping the youth, but I'm also doing it in a way that's not like punitive or consequential. And I love that we are able to use things like games and um, coloring utensils and therapeutic coloring books and therapy sessions to talk and communicate and relate and guide and support students. Guys, I am finally off of work and these are just some things that I passed as a yoga since I'm on my way to my son. I miss him so much. I'm going to take you along with me. So guys, your girl is dark in here, so bear with me. Bear with me. It's dark. Your girl is back home. Alright? Cairo is wilding out. Hi, Cairo. Hi. Yes, you all well. Your girl is back home. Carol's bugging out. Cody's bugging out, but I'm happy to see them. I am about to go into my therapy session. So, yeah, I'm going to hit y'all later. Like always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. I didn't do nothing today, guys. Honestly, I didn't do nothing crazy. I didn't do nothing crazy, so I didn't record that much, but I did take y'all along with me. I had to rush home right after work because I had um, an appointment, and then after that appointment, I had to go move my car. <sighs> Look at me, tired. After that appointment, I had to go move my car. It took so long to move my car, so I didn't really get to record like that. I had Cody with me, too, and now I'm back home, and I'm playing with Kyra. I'm about to go into my next appointment, so I have to end this video, but... I told y'all I was vlogging, baby. You know what I'm saying? Tell me what y'all did today in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up. If you didn't already do so, click that notification bell. If you didn't already do so, go follow me on Instagram at the Real Step Mom. Go follow me on TikTok at the Real Step Mom. Your girl is here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, listen. Join the way. It's the Real Step Mom. 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 It's the real stuff, mom. It's the, it's the, it's the real stuff, mom.
It's the real stuff, mom. It's the it's the it's the, it's the real stuff, mom.